And here we see the pains that will come to the enemies of the church. To the extent that he says to us in verse 12 about those people, the people who fought against Jerusalem. I don't fight against Jerusalem. Every time you are unhappy about living a righteous life, every time you complain about having to pray, every time you complain about having to fast, every time you complain about the fact that you're unable to part to partake of the pleasures of this world. You complain about the church not allowing you to enjoy drugs, to enjoy alcohol with your friends and get drunk and be drunk, to gamble, to go out and be merry, to experience sexual pleasures, fornication and adultery in this you persecute the church. In this, you persecute the body of Christ. In this, you fight against Jerusalem. You fight against the reign of God. And in fighting against the way of Christ, those people that die or that end their life in opposition, that end their life without repentance. And this repentance needs to be accompanied by confession. And this confession needs to be sealed with an absolution. And this absolution needs to be perfected through the mystery of Holy Communion. I remove myself from an enemy of Jerusalem to the son and daughter of Christ. And here Zechariah says to us about those people who have a who have fought against the church, their flesh will dissolve while they stand on their feet. Their eyes shall dissolve in their sockets and their tongues shall dissolve in their mouths. And it's as if Zechariah here is telling us this flesh of theirs that they used in evil, that they used in persecuting the church, their eyes that they used to look upon the church and to see everything that the church requests as inappropriate or burdensome, their tongues that they used to heresize to persecute the church and offer teachings against Christ. This is what's going to happen to them. It's as if there's going to be some sort of illnesses that just make them dissolve, dissolve, dissolve. So those of you that are looking for the end of the world, look for this illness. Let the evil just dissolve away.